to do a schedule using Arena versus version 16 which is the same for the version 15 so we start, it's going to be extremely basic so let's create, process, dispose in the process we have this delay release and this is the operator name okay and I think if I come here to the spreadsheet so we have operator he has fixed capacity which we're gonna change and of one capacity of one so it's like one person on duty if you set this value to two so the person is twice his speed or three times his speed or four times his speed which is not very logical so it's better to keep it at one so we're gonna do the schedule schedule for operator and its type capacity hours scale factor is one I will explain all this in details so we come to the duration I will just for a second I will come back to it so we come to the duration here we have saying uh, I'm gonna close time unit is called is we're gonna consider it in a minute so saying if the person he start working at 8 and he has a break at 10 o'clock for 15 minutes so the value is 1 which is capacity 1 and the break is at 10 o'clock and he started at 8 so we put 102 minutes which, which is equivalent to 2 hours so he has a break for 15 minutes till quarter past 10 and then he works till 12 so from quarter past 10 till 12 there is six, 60 minutes plus 45 105 and then he has a break of 45 minutes from 12 till quarter to 1 and then he works from quarter to 1 all the way till 4 o'clock so 3 hours plus 15 minutes 195 at 4 o'clock he has 10 minutes break and then he works till it is 5 o'clock so in this way we did the schedule I'm gonna re-explain it so he works from 8 till 10 which is 2 hours equivalent to 120 minutes capacity 1 and then he has a break capacity 0 for 15 minutes and then he works for an hour 45 minutes which is equivalent to 105 minutes of capacity 1 and then break for 45 minutes and then another break at 4 o'clock and then he works for 40 minutes till it is 5 o'clock okay so the scale factor is 1 if you consider by default is equal to 1 but if you say the scale factor equal to 5 so you're multiplying all those value by 5 as if you have 5 resources but 0 it remains as 0 but 1 will become like 5 if you considering the file name here it is valid if you're reading the schedule from Microsoft Excel so we come back to the resource here based on schedule schedule name schedule for operation okay and we have schedule weight ignore preempt we always keep it for weight so and uh, what does that mean even if it is 10 o'clock if the operator is helping a customer because we said at 10 o'clock you will get a 15 minutes break if he's helping a customer he has to stay with a customer even if it is his break the second the customer release the operator the operator can go on a break okay if you put it as ignore so he will just leave the customer which is not very good customer service okay so here we're gonna do it as eight hours base time unit is minutes so we're gonna set the time here no border digital transparent background okay so this is at 8 o'clock 
you could see here I'm gonna use a number of resources uh, usage current number scheduled which is MR number of resources scheduled uh, and we use the title number of or resource capacity no border transparent background okay and this number So I'm gonna run the program to see we'd expect. I'm gonna make it I don't want to see the result, but I'm gonna make it really slow so you could see what's happening. And so just too quick. Uh, we said we're gonna run at five, so it's nine hours. And I'm gonna make the time here a little bit longer. Let's run again. So I make it so so at ten o'clock here and so this is every five minutes. There is one arriving and this is an hour. So I'm gonna put it as constant. The queue will build up like awfully long, but I just want to make sure the resource capacity at 10 is on a break and then you could see how it's flipping between 1 and 0. Okay, so this is my schedule. If you have a question, write to my email address. Thank you.